Well, what a setting to be cool for the summer. Demi Lovato! Yay! Hello! Are you feeling like you're on holidays in this in this setting right now? Just chilling back? I mean, how could I not? I mean... It's so festive. Surrounded by palm fronds and palm trees. Uh, we're in an inflatable pool. We're wearing our So swimmers. many floaties. Floaties. I don't have any floaties. You can have a floaty if you want, but it will cut off the circulation to your heart, which <laughs> okay. is what's happening to me right now. So. Okay. No thanks. We want to keep you in one place. Um, you must be used to it now. I mean, the music video video for cool for the summer you're in like latex onesie which i think would make someone pretty sweaty um you know it actually wasn't latex it was those were leather leather shorts and um and like a like a like crop top kind of thing mm. and um and yeah that's kind of that's what it was it wasn't too sweaty um and plus, in like uh, in the other parts, I was basically in a bathing suit, so it wasn't too bad. Lovely. So cool for the summer is a song. It works in the U.S. because obviously it's summer over there. Yes. Uh, here in Australia, it's winter, and it does give us the uh, it gives us the missing feels of the of the of the good weather. Um, when you were making that song, uh, did you ever think about doing a winter version for us down under? I thought about like maybe like warm for the winter. It's a hit. Yeah. I'd buy it. But wouldn't you rather be warmed up during the winter than singing about, about it? About a cold, yeah. Yeah, you've made a great That's point. That's not bad. Although you could get one of those ski chalets with like the snow bunny things and like mulled wine. There's so many options. Instead of like, don't tell your mama, like, you know, make soup for your papa. Tell Santa Claus. Yeah, that's not all bad. That. There's, all, like, there's all these options for winter. We're yep. freezing down here and I'm wearing shorts. Listen, <laughs> you, you it, use this song. To okay, warm you up. that's right. All right, I can do that. You can. We have got, you have got some incredible fans mm. who have pretty much taken over our Twitter accounts for the past couple of days. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to say weeks. As soon yeah. as there was like a rumor that you were going to be in Australia, they were just like. <sighs> yeah, that's kind of what they do. That's yeah. a reaction. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes they do it to my songs. Just like that. Though. Okay. Oh. It's just like. Let it go. <laughs> How do you cope with that sort of Twitter influx? Surely you just don't look at Twitter. No, I do. I definitely, you know, I, it's it's that and it's Instagram. I love reading the comments and seeing, like, um, some people write some really sweet things on there. And then, you know, you have your haters, but at the same time, it's like you can't please everybody. Yeah. So hmm. I just ignore them. We've got some ripper Twitter questions for you. Um, at Lovato featuring Jonas. What is your perfect date, Demi? Mm. Perfect date. I mean, are we in it? <laughs> I should go. Um, it's probably there. <laughs> It's close to this. Um, I think my perfect date would be like getting dressed up and going to dinner in a nice place mm -hmm. and then going back home and just watching a movie and snuggling. That's simple. Snuggling, snuggling. is the best. I love it is. Snuggling. I know, I do too. I think the best part of a date is just the getting ready bit. As soon as it I leave so the house, fun. it's all downhill from there for me. Oh my god. That's the people no, you're getting dating. Ready is fun. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's the people you're dating. Yeah. <laughs> snuggling. Netflix and chill. Oh that's... my god, don't get me started on just like chill and watching Netflix. That's that and like um so Apple TV, mm. also Everything on my crime shows, oh, yeah. anything about aliens. Do you believe in aliens? It would be so self-centered of me to not believe that there is life on other planets outside of Earth. There has to be. The universe is so big. I know. Do you reckon there's like another like, thousand Demi Lovatos, like alternate universes, but some of them have horns and stuff? I would actually kind of hope so. I'd like to see myself with horns. <laughs> it can be arranged. Yeah, maybe right. it can be like a unicorn, but like a demicorn. Unidemicorn. Yeah, unidemi. Uh, that I sounds like, like an eyebrow. I like this question <laughs> that we got through, Demi. I like this one. At uh, Dil Merich um, wants to know, words that make you feel special? Snuggle's obviously one of them. Mm, snuggle. Yeah. I love that one. Um, that make me feel special um, when someone tells me they love me. And I love you. Um, I like the word. Oh, Too thank soon? you. <laughs> a little weird. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna brace over Every that one. Time. I Be was cool. trying to. Um, I, I say it back. It's fine. We'll work on it. Good I do. Minutes. I like the words warm and fuzzy. Warm and fuzzy. Yeah, but in that same context, not separately. Okay. Fuzzy on its own oh, is pretty that's weird. A, yeah, it's not the right word. Yeah. You don't want to be fuzzy. You don't want to be fuzzy. You want to be. Reminds me of like arm hair. 
I, I have escaped Sarah. before the interview. We so all do no actually. Way. Cody as well. She gets so much crap for it. She has yeah, she's got on. the hairiest arms. Yeah, why? And so does Angus. I did, and then I got laser hair removal. <gasps> oh, on your arms? Everywhere. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this, but can we talk about the one section right there on the pelvic bone that when that laser hits it, it is like, no, no that's not the worst part. What's the worst part? Like right under the, that's the worst. Yeah. Part. I didn't want to say that. I was no, going to say that bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a real trouble with that You hate getting one. your oh. vagina lasered. 100%. <laughs> yeah, it's It was so the worst bad. feeling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you could change the wor- uh, change one thing about the world, what would it be, Demi Lovato, from at Molly Felice? If I could change one thing about the world, I wish, I mean, it sounds so stupid, but world peace. Yeah. I wish that there would be no judgment. It would just all be acceptance of one another. And there wouldn't be so much hatred and so much, um, you know, so many people fighting and... I don't know. I just wish it was all positive. Why isn't everyone Netflix and chill? Everyone snuggles. I know. But then here's the problem. Like if if there wasn't, if that was the case, there wouldn't be crime shows. Um, And I love my crime shows. Did you watch The Jinx? Oh my God. Yes, I did. We can't ruin it it. for anybody else. But let's just say. The last scene? The bathroom? Oh my God. Did you guys listen? Did you listen to Serial? The podcast? Oh, yeah. no, the podcast. Okay, you would love it, by the way. But it is, it's like you kind of you're left hanging a little bit because there's no finale. The jinx. Oh, you know, it's, you're like, it's the oh best God, finale. The finale. That's what you need to do next is be the next like detective Olivia Benson. You need to get one of those crime shows and be the detective that's I don't like, know who Olivia Benson from is. From Law and Order But SBU. I know, I know who, um, I know who. John Grisham? Harry, Washington in is who in. plays Olivia Pope. She's bad. She's not really a detective, but she's a fixer. That's scandal. And she right? tweeted me one time and she said, hashtag cool for the summer. Oh, done. Yes. Finished. To me being a guest star on the show. She was like, yes. I love to hear when famous people fangirl about other famous people. It makes me feel like, yeah, you're a normal person. Yeah. And you still freak out just like us. It's like her and Kevin Bacon. I freaked out. Um, <laughs> the weirdest people. Like, like reading Rainbow Guy. I forget his name. <laughs> The, the, ra- the three rainbows? Lavar Burton, I think his name is. Lavar. Is that the guy who had the three rainbows YouTube video? That guy? No. Double rainbow in the sky. No, that would that's be enough. two that's rainbows. Just yeah. double. Okay. Um, that that makes triple. sense. Yeah. Uh, from at Grand X Hio, if you could have three celebrities over, over for dinner, dead or alive, Demi Lovato, who would it be? Jesus. Just to see if he rocks up? Um, of course he would rock up. Jesus loves us. What I does guess. rock up mean? Just come. Whether yeah, he why not? Jesus is all around us. Okay. And he's in your heart. Um, it would be kind of say, it would be cool to say that you had supper yeah. with Jesus. And it's good if you ran out of wine, just get some water. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, then also, if I could have dinner with Billie Holiday, I have like a weird obsession with her and I just feel like I was her in a past life. Okay. And then also John Lennon. Oh, wow. I would love to see John Lennon and Jesus hanging out over dinner. I know, it'd be pretty epic. That would be very cool for me. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be a fly on the wall at your dinner party. Be okay, like, what's cool. up, Billy? I love you, Jesus. Peace. <laughs> great. Um, can I have an ice cream? Just want to get in the summer thing. I'll get We've... the ice creams, yeah. Do, would you want a Jimmy Barnes cookie dough or a um, Damon I'll go average? the cookie dough. Okay, I'm going to go with Oh, actually, can oh, we do what? this? Oh, I, do you know, one of the key lines is, uh, is about a cherry, oh, Demi Lovato. I thought... Can I can I get assessed on how sexy I eat a cherry? You can. Right. So I want you to look into my eyes while I'm doing this. Is, that's really weird. Right. right. Um, but go for it. Oh, it's creepy. Um, Not sexy. You look at me. Oh, it's like just really weird and fuzzy. <laughs> Not warm and fuzzy. Yeah, warm Not warm and fuzzy. fuzzy. It's weird and fuzzy when you look at me like that too. Um, that's so gross. <laughs> We're not shaking hands. <laughs> <laughs> you have a skincare line. And I do. It's for dudes and chicks, Devon by Demi. Yes. Looking at Angus now, and now that you've seen his skin so close up. You have close great up, skin. What would you, you recommend as a skincare regime for him? What, what should he be doing to keep that skin good? Um... <laughs> Uh, well, since we're in the summertime right now, I think it would be best for him to definitely spray that hydrating mist. Mm. Ooh, got to have the hydrating. Stay, stay refreshed for the summertime. Right. But you can't, you can't really improve perfection. It's true. Oh. You can't. So sorry that you have to put off oh the guys, Debbie. Um, I really, really... This is so delicious, FYI. <laughs> I really recommend to the team watching. 
Hey, Ollie Mers yeah. is in town. You guys are buddies. You did Up uh, together, which was huge in Australia. Are you guys going to hang out or are you both too busy doing your things? I would love to because he's such a sweet guy. Yeah. Um, and uh, it would have been awesome, but I think like I'm still on jet lag and I leave like so soon that I, I have so many things that I like press stuff. Yeah. And if I don't sleep, it might not you got to get that hydrating mist up in there, Danny, yep. on mm. the plane. Just like, tss, 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 tss. you uh, seriously, I have that and the moisturizer on the plane with me. I believe you. Yeah, you have you have honest, kind eyes. Yes, he's not lying. Um, Defined by Demi. Demi, Ed Sheeran. Yes. It's been a lot of talk about a collaboration. It exists. It doesn't exist. I would love it for it to, but it doesn't. No. Is it going to exist? I don't know. We gotta ask him. Is it yes? Is it Ed just not replying? Because we'll call him. Get Ed on the phone. Oh, friggin' yeah, tell call him. him. Get him on the phone. Call him. See what's up. Yeah, we want Demi and Ed. That would that would have been amazing. What is there? Like, let's say I I, I, I deal word. You, you guys are gonna work together. We'll just, let's just put it out in the universe. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're gonna work together. Um, give us the ideal beautiful song that you would love to write about. Um, because obviously I mean, it's it gonna be, be like, a love song. It would be a love song, and it might be like a heartbreak song. Like very, very beautiful, very soft. Okay, kind of like a you know Romeo and Juliet. Love was so much. That yeah, pretty. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Or well, from one from love and soft and woman fuzzy to UFC girl fighters. Oh my god, yes. You and Angus have got like a very similar obsession. Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Yeah. You're are you guys friends? Yeah. Oh, are. it's awesome. Tell her. Big ups. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna tell her. Yeah, I just. I'm so obsessed with Ronda Rousey. I, I think, think she's the best isn't? role model for women. Have you seen that 45 do second? Do nothing, video? bitch. Pardon? A do nothing, bitch. She is. She is not she's a do not nothing, a do nothing bitch. bitch. That video. No, she's not. I sent. I tweeted it out. I'm like, young girls following me, watch this video and power yeah. yourself because this is kick ass. She's so awesome and yeah. she's really really cool. Like. Yeah, she's awesome. And you guys have got the same kind of message that you really are working to stand for, but you're outworking it in pretty different ways, which I think is really cool. I think that's why I have so much respect for her is because she stands for the same things that I believe in, um, empowering women and yeah. being confident. And um, that's something that she does. And it's, it's such a great role model for young women to look at and aspire to be because um, because she's so strong and she... It's like she's an accidental feminist yeah. Yeah. in a way. I don't know if she is or not, but um, but she's definitely she's something that men look at and think, "Wow, she's a beast." You know, yeah. a gorgeous beast. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Demi Lovato, the single is cool for the summer. We've played it, played it again, played it a fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh time. We love it. Um, thank you so much for coming to Australia. Thank you uh, for having on me. The single, and um, you know, I think it's time to leave the lagoon. <laughs> it's going to be hard to get out physically. I don't think I can physically, actually yeah. move yeah. my legs high enough. But yeah, we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you.